الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق أنت ولينا في الدنيا والآخرة توفنا مسلمين وعلحقنا بالصالحين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ومن يعزم شعائر الله فإنها من تقوى القلوب وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم صيام يوم عاشوراء إني أحتسب على الله أن يكفر السنة التي قبله صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين Respected elders, my beloved brothers in Islam all praise and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave us tawfiq to attend for Salatul Jum'ah prayer with good health. Therefore, we are praising and thanking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a beautiful word, Alhamdulillah. According to the Islamic calendar, today is the 6th of Muharram, which is the first month of Islamic calendar. And in this month, there is a day which is called Ashura. According to the Arabic terminology, it is came from Ashara, which means tenth. It's indicated about the tenth of Muharram. According to Islamic calendar, the tenth of Muharram it is a historical day. Many important incident was happened on that day. For example, first of all, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala accepted. Tawbah, Dua of the first beloved Prophet Adam alayhi salatu was salam when he applied Dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his Dua on that day and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected the ship of Nuh alayhi salatu was salam in the mountain of Judi on that day and the most important thing is the, on the day of Ashura, Isa alayhi salatu was salam was born and the same day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taken him to the heaven. And the very important historical day is on this day, on the day of Ashura, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Musa alayhi salatu was salam and his follower Bani Israel from the corruption of Pharaoh on this day and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them tawfiq to pass to cross the Red Sea on that day and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected uh, Musa alayhi salatu wa salam and his followers <laughs> therefore when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated to Medina he saw the Jewish people are fasting. He used to fast before migration to Medina, but he did not advise anybody to fasting. He fasting because of it is a historical day. Ibrahim alayhi salam used to fast on the day of Ashura. Ismail alayhi salatu salam used to fast on the day of Ashura. And the Quraysh of Makkah, they used to do fasting on the day of Ashura which is 10th of Muharram but Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he migrated to Medina he saw the people of Jewish of Medina they are fasting on the day of Ashura which is 10th of Muharram he asked them why are you fasting on this day the Jewish people reply him we are fasting that on this day our beloved prophet Musa alayhi salatu wa sallam and his followers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved them from the corruption of Fir'aun. Therefore Musa alayhi salatu was salam did fasting shukran lillahi ta'ala azza wa jal. For the thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Musa alayhi salatu was salam used to fast and Bani Israel and also we are fasting. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said as the colleagues, because every prophet they are colleagues each other. He said, Nahnu ahakku bi Musa. According to the connection, I am more closer to Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam. So, minkum fasuamahu wa amara bi suyamihi. 
Then he started fasting and he advised to his companion to do fasting on the day of uh, Ashura, which is 10th of Muharram. And same time, Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam decided, if I alive next year, inshallah, I will do fasting two days, which is 9 and 10 or 10 and 11. I will add another day with uh, the day of Ashura. So if somebody do fasting only the day of Ashura, they will not get any sins, he will get the reward. But the Sunnah way to do fasting another day with the day of Ashura, it is Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. <laughs> now, why Musa alayhi salatu salam did fasting on this day? Can you imagine how difficult time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected him? It is the direct help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As starting point that Musa alayhi salatu salam when he lived from his father-in-law house, Shuaib alayhi salatu salam. Shuaib alayhi salatu salam is the father-in-law of Musa alayhi salam. He was also prophet. So when he left with his family from his father-in-law house, it says in the Quran, فَلَمَّا آتَاهَا نُودِيَا يَا مُوسَى When he started journey towards Palestine, he saw fire in the nights on the top of mountain. He asked his family, you stay here, let me check over there, maybe I can find some lightness or I can find the way, the direction. How can we reach to the Philistine? Family was staying outside when Musa salam been to the near the mountain. It's mentioned in the Quran, Falamma Ataha Nudia. When Musa salam gone close to the fire, he listened a sound. He said, Ya Musa, inni ana rabbuk fakhla ana laik inna kabilwadil muqaddasitwa. The sound came, spiritual sound from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Ya Musa, it is not something like fire you imagine. It is me, Allah, fakhla'na alayk, take off your shoes. Because, innaka bil wadil muqaddasitwa, it is a clean and pure place. You know, imagine when we enter to the masjid, we keep our shoes outside. Because masjid is a clean place, the place of worship, the place of ibadah, so we maintain self-discipline, we don't bring dirty clothes, we don't bring our dirty shoes inside the masjid while we are praying. So Allah advising to Musa, take off your shoes and come inside. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, millions of people are living in the earth. وَأَنَخْتَرْتُكَ فَاسْتَمِعْ لِمَا يُوحَى O Musa, I chosen you. I chosen you from the millions of people that I want to talk to you. Subhanallah. Therefore, La ilaha illallah Musa, Kalimullah. He talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he was alive in this earth. So it is a super, super, superiority. It is the attributes, quality of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. So Allah said, وَأَنَخْتَرْتُكَ فَاسْتَمِعْ لِمَا يُوحَى O Musa, I decided, I chosen you, I want to talk to you. فَاسْتَمِعْ لِمَا يُوحَى Listen what I'm telling you now. Who saying? Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying. Now it is a Tura Sayana. Tura Sayana. It is a Wadiya uh, Muqaddasa. It's a Tura Sayana, Wadiya Muqaddasa called a place between two mountains. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, Ya Musa, innani anallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, innani anallah. O oh Musa, verily, it is I am Allah. La ilaha illa ana. There is none worthy of worship beside me. And fa'abudni, so you have to worship me. Wa afimi salata li dhikri. And you have to establish salah for the remembrance of me. So they used to do fasting that time. But Israel, they used to do two time fasting. Therefore, we have to give a big thank you to Musa alayhi salam because when Allah granted 50 times prophet for us, Allah prescribed. Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he is the one 
who advise to our Prophet go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reduce the timetable of prayer. Because my Ummah, Bani Israel, they are stronger. They are living 2000 years, 1500 years live. They are stronger than your Ummah physically. They even don't do two times prayer properly. How your Ummah can do 50 times? So he advised and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taking him, advising him back to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and reduce the prayer. But Allah said, I reduced the prayers, but I did not reduce the rewards. Subhan. This is the merciful. This is the Rahman and Rahim. He did not reduce the 50 times reward, but he reduced the timetable of prayers. So, Waqim is Salat al Then, after that, when uh, Musa alayhi salatu was salam, with his generation, with his followers, Bani Israel, they are going towards towards the, uh, uh, the, the aggression of Pharaoh, they're leaving the place. Musa alayhi salatu was salam, and thousands of his followers, when they're leaving, then when Pharaoh attacked them from three sided attack, right, left, and behind, superpower with the training soldiers thousands of soldiers attacking Musa والسلام, and his followers from three sides right left and back in front of them Red Sea the follower of Musa والسلام, said Ya Musa inna la mudrakul there is no doubt we all will smash we all will die we all will destroy because training soldiers, super power for that time, and Pharaoh attacking us from three sides, in front of them, long lengths, ocean, Red Sea, we all will die. Inna la mudrakun. The Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, has full confidence. He full confidence, he said, Kalla, no way. Kalla inna, kalla inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. Of course, my Lord will find out where from this situation. Of course, my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help me. How confidence? As Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa when he got Nabuat, when he came to his home, he said, Oh my beloved wife Khadija, laqad khashitu ala nafsi. I am very worrying about myself. What is going on to me? After the first revelation, faqalat Khadija to what Khadija said? With full confidence, Khadija said, Wallahi! Ma yukhsik Allahu abada. Hundred percent, I'm sure Allah will never let you down. Because inna ka la tasilu rahima, wa tahmilu kalla, wa taksibu maadum, wa taqribu daifa, wa tuinu ala nawaib al haq. She mentioned five qualities of her husband. So she full confident to say, Wallahi ma yukhsik Allahu abada. Never. Allah will never let you down, oh my beloved husband, Ya Rasulullah. Same way. With full confidence, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam said, Kalla inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. Never. Definitely my Allah, my creator will find out a way from this situation. Then <clears throat> when they attack them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make a road. Allah ask, Allah ordered to the ocean, make a division, make a divide and make a road for my Musa and his follower Bani Israel. When Musa alayhi salatu saw the road, let's jump to the ocean. They crossed to the long kilometers away the ocean, they passed. Follower of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, and, ben, and Bani Israel and Musa alayhi salam. When Pharaoh saw that this situation, oh my God, it is a road like motorway. Let's jump and attack them. Don't wait. He commanded his followers. When they jumped to the oceans, in the middle of the oceans. That time Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and Bani Israel, they crossed the oceans, they passed. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again ordered to the ocean, smash them, smash them. All, every old soldier, thousands of soldiers has died, except Musa, except Pharaoh. So all the followers has died, except Pharaoh. He looking right, left, behind, front. All my soldiers has destroyed. Now, Israel والسلام, came to him. The pain, death pain started. When death pain started, if you take Shahada, no point. Hazrat <coughs> Israel والسلام, came to him. You want to take his soul? Now, Pharaoh said, 
statement from the Quran. قال آمنت أنه لا إله إلا الذي آمنت به بنو إسرائيل وأنا من المسلمين. فرعون declare in himself شهادة. Amantu annahu la ilaha illallah I am entering to the Islam as the enter to the Islam Banu Israel as they taken shahada la ilaha illallah Musa kalimullah wa ana minal muslimin I am entering to the group of Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Al-an it's too late you corrupted the society he corrupted the country. He corrupted the community. He destroyed the humanity. Al-an. Now, وَقَدْ عَصَيْتَ قَبْلُ وَكُنْتَ مِنَ الْمُفْسِدِينَ I am very angry to you. It is not time to accept your shahada. What I'm going to do? Allah said, Al-yawma, today. Al-yawma nunajjika bi badanika min liman khalfaka aya. I will make your body like a dry fish. And I'll keep you until the day of judgment. I'll protect your body like a dry fish. And I'll keep you. It will be a lesson for future generation. Those who will corrupt to the world. Those who will misuse the power. Those who will abuse their power in this world until the day of judgment. It is a lesson for them. I will not leave anyone. I can give some time, but I will not leave them. I will, I will harass them. This is the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, Surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Ar-Rahman, Kullu man alayha faan Wa yabqa wajhu rabbika zul jalali wal ikram Fa bi ayy alai rabbikuma tukazziban Kullu man alayha faan Everything we will destroy. And وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُلْ جَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will be present everywhere. So it is a lesson for the people, those are corrupting the country, corrupting the earth, those who will misusing their power. Inshallah, in the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do judgment on them as He did destroy Fir'aun, Qarun, Shaddad, Everybody will destroy as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy them in the day of judgment. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving them time. Allah observing everything. Who misusing their power, who abusing their power. So come to the point. So this is a very historical day for Islamically that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and his follower on that day from the corruption of Firaun and it, the help was direct help from Allah, direct Nusrat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore Musa alayhi salatu wasalam became thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He decided he will do fasting every year 10th of Muharram. It is called Ashura. So therefore it is Sunnah to do fasting on the day of Ashura. The day of Ashura which will be 10th of Muharram which is 16th of July upcoming Tuesday inshallah. So everybody who do fasting on this day. Is it, Rasulullah said in another hadith, the best day after Ramadan is Shahrullahi Muharram. Best day fasting after Ramadan is Shahrullahi Muharram. So everybody inshallah I'm going to advise, including myself, will do fasting on the day of Arafa, uh, day of Ashura, which is 10th of Jilhad, 16th July, Tuesday inshallah. So try to do another one day with it is Sunnah where you can do inshallah. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفر كواتب ويلي نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم وعلى آل الطيبين الطاهرين إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما 
أما بعد فإن فأيا أيها الحازرون قد حان شهر الله المحرم وفيه يوم عاشوراء وهو اليوم العاشر من شهر الله المحرم وللناس في هذا اليوم معروفات ومن المعروفات استحباب صوم هذا اليوم والأفضل أن يسام يومان يوم عاشوراء ويوما قبله أو يوما بعده قال عليه الصلاة والسلام صيام يوم عاشوراء إني أحتسب على الله أن يكفر السنة التي قبله واعلموا أيها الحاضرون أن فضل يوم عاشوراء لا بشهادة حسين رضي الله عنه وأتباعه في الكربلاء بل بوقعة نجاة موسى عليه السلام وبني إسرائيل من فرعون وجنوده فصام موسى عليه السلام شكرا لنعمة الله عليه وأصحابه وصام بنو إسرائيل كذلك وصامه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأصحابه اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا استنابه اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الهم والحزن ونعوذ بك من العجز والكسل ونعوذ بك من البخل والجبن ونعوذ بك من غلابة الدين وقهر الرجال اللهم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وطب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وأقم الصلاة إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا